hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to add uh, different textures to any image in canva in a few easy steps as you can see this is a fabric and this is like a just like a normal paper but before we dive into the tutorial i have a quick favor task if you like my content and find it valuable Please take a moment to hit the small like button and subscribe to my channel. Is it really help to keep creating content for you? Thanks, and now let's get started. So I just uh, adding a new page and adding an element. I'm adding an image, adding the same image again, and just fit the in the Canva. And now scrolling down, looking for the apps and uh, searching for the application called the uh, texture this gray icon so first as you can see all the categories are inactive because we need to select an image here we go so i just selected the image and as you can see we can uh, choose between paper paint vhs grid film gain light fabric and grunge now just starting with the uh, light just randomly so we can add some uh, light as you can see this circle is in the the middle actually for this image is not that not that good try to find some as you can see this is already better also not good for those kind of pictures this is this is uh looks like a professional studio image so for sure there is no light issues but if you would like to have some uh, outdoor image to just create it more uh, old style that's also a good good way to add it like this special this uh, prismatic glow that's perfect we can increase the size and scale it we can rotate if you want a bit or we can reduce the opacity to reduce the effect so that's a uh, pretty cool like if they're if, if the playing with other lights in the paints also we can add some uh brush strokes that's already that's a bit too much i think of course maybe not good that's working better with a different kind of uh, images yeah this uh, also some brush strokes this one is actually already good especially if i increase and just uh, decrease the opacity that's that's actually a pretty cool effect already but the main features what i like in this application is the fabric like we can add some uh, like this linen canvas as you can see it was increasing the scale but it's not necessary my me to 1.4 1.5 is still good we can rotate but that's <clears throat> unnecessary reducing a bit the <clears throat> opacity and it's a really really cool effect and the other one what i really like is the paper especially this uh, this smooth paper or crumbled paper the other crumbled paper it's also really good nah, sorry i forgot to do what i want so i have to I have to save it if i click to somewhere else the, that will be disappeared we also can increase the scale if needed but i don't want rotate unnecessary but opacity just a bit reduced and i click on save that's strange nothing happened that's 
bit unusual. Something strange. Issues happening now. Normally that's working like this, but now it's I just try to refresh my page. This is a time to time happens when the some glitch with an internet, so I do it again. So I'm use this uh, crumpled paper, save. And now well, some, with some strange reasons, I cannot even edit. But actually this is how this should works. I just tried some grid now. I don't know why <laughs> this, this works. So that's <clears throat> because this application is free. We cannot see any tokens what we are using. So it's something, uh, some glitch happened because with the same image, I uh, did the same uh, same fabric and was it was works. And next uh, second time I tried to use it, it was not working. But as you can see, this is how it works. Sorry for this. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know what I'm gonna say. Sorry for this um, mistake or in the glitches in the software. I don't know why it happened now. Of course, it's always happening when it, when I try to recording, and not everything is working as expected. So just uh, I just try another <clears throat> another image. So photos vertical <clears throat> and it was this. No, it was this. Yeah, like this. Going back to the apps texture paper try it again somehow this paper is not doesn't want to work now i don't know why normally it works fine now it's not really You see, I did this uh, foggy mist. And this one was successfully uploaded. So I don't know why it, this paper not, don't, doesn't want to work now, but as you can see, this is how the sh software should work. I don't know why this uh, paper and the fabric was not working now. I didn't see any limitations but doesn't run, really want to cope with me but we can use the other other effects also and as you can see i used it before this is a paper this is the one fabric so it was working for me perfectly now it's doesn't really want to cope but now i use different uh, different textures just to represent how it works but now this tutorial is going to the end. Hope so you like it. If you really like it, please do not forget to hit that small like button, subscribe to my channel, leave comment in a comment section if you're struggling anything in the Canva and I try to answer as soon as possible. Or if it's a bit more difficult, I will create some uh, tutorial about it. Please also visit my Facebook page. You can find the link in the description where you can find uh, tons of... Uh, Canva tutorials, not only from me, also from uh, another great uh, Canva experts. 
Plus you can find a bunch of text to image or text to video prompts for different kind of uh, AI applications. So if you're also interested in this area, please feel free to check my Facebook page. As I already mentioned, you can find the link in the description. In the, uh, in the description, you can find all the links of my Instagram and TikTok page or channel where you can find a bunch of uh, short tutorials about Canva. So please feel free to check also my Instagram and TikTok page. As I mentioned already, you can find the links in the description. But now this tutorial is really going to end. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ciao.